Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving an Epson 0x97 error you're coming across on your Epson printer. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the Start menu. Type in Device Manager. Best results should go back with Device Manager listed right above Control Panel. So go ahead and left click on that. You want to go ahead and double click on the Universal Serial Bus Controller entry. And then right click on the USB Composite Device. And select Update Driver. Select Browse My Computer for Drivers. And select Let Me Pick from a list of available drivers on my computer and select next. You can also search Epson's official website. So if you just go on Google and type in Epson driver support, you can just go ahead and just type in the printer that you have and whatever the specific model information is and just update it from there. You're welcome to try that. Again, it'll be printer specific within Epson. There's a lot of different Epson printers, just if you weren't aware. But anyway, you're gonna go ahead and close it here. You would wanna restart your computer and see if that takes effect. Also, restart your printer. So go ahead and turn off your printer and then turn it back on again after about 15 to 30 seconds. Just give it a little bit of time and then turn it back on and see if that has resolved the problem. Another thing we can try here, if we close out here, open up the start menu, type in troubleshoot. Best results, should come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and left click on that. Select additional troubleshooters on the right panel. And then select Printer, Find and Fix Problems with Printing, and select Run the Troubleshooter. So you want to go ahead and just select whatever printer you're having the problem with should be listed on here at some point. Just go ahead and select that and then just let it load the troubleshooting utility and then just let it load the troubleshooting utility
Okay, so again, just follow along with anything it recommends. Otherwise, apply any fixes it suggests, and you can see it wants us to restart our computer, which we will. And that's about it, guys. So it looks like it'll give us a little rundown at the end, and that should hopefully have been able to resolve your problem. Like I said, just follow along with whatever it recommends, and that should be about it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do advise you to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.